In this video, learn how to configure your email on an Android smartphone. To learn how to set up email on other systems, such as Windows, Macintosh, or iPhone, please refer to our other videos in this series. Let's get started. To begin, tap the email icon. Enter the email address you want to access, such as enomfan at ilikeenom.com. Enter the password for this email account. For security reasons, your password will not display in its entirety. However, your individual keystrokes as you enter your password will be visible. Tap Next. Select the type of email account you want to configure according to your preference of POP3, IMAP, or Microsoft Exchange Active Sync. Next, configure your incoming server settings. Your email address and password will already be populated. Change your username to your full email address. Scroll down and set your POP3 server to pop.example.com, such as pop.ilikeenom.com. For IMAP, this would be imap.example.com. Leave the security type as none and confirm that the port is set to 110 for POP or 143 for IMAP. For the option Delete Email from Server, set it according to your preference. Tap Next. Now you'll configure your outgoing mail server settings. For SMTP server, this will be smtp.example.com, such as smtp.ilikeenom.com. Leave the security type as None. For Port, this should be set either to 25 or 587. Leave the Require Sign-In box checked. Your username and password will already be populated from earlier. Tap Next. Next, we'll set up your account options. Set your sync schedule and peak schedule according to your preference. To have your smartphone automatically sync to your email, check the box Sync Email. Check or uncheck the box Notify Me When Email Arrives according to your preference. Tap Next. To finish setup, you have the option to name this account, such as Work or Personal, as well as how you would like your name to be displayed when you send email. When you are finished, tap Done. Congratulations! Your smartphone has now been configured to access your email. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us via www.enom.com help.